Metropolis is one of the most famous films made by Fritz Lang. Although it wasn't popular when it was first released in 1927, later the use of Lang's spectacular set design influenced many directors and their styles. For example, Roy Bolting's 1951 High Treason used the same techniques for the set and had a similar storyline. Also, David Butler's Just Imagine was inspired by the three-dimensional models Lang often used. Other films influenced by him are Blade Runner, Minority Report, Things to Come, Logan's Run, and Brazil. The very extraordinary set design in these frames exaggerates their bizarre and dystopian themes. Lang often used the set design to have a further impact on the audience, engaging them in the story. This was the main sign of German Expressionism. The design of Metropolis was inspired by New York scenery. Fritz Lang incorporates two- and three-dimensional models of buildings and roads. He puts emphasis on the vertical lines which are shown by the roads going through the city. The main three-dimensional model is the dominant Tower of Babel, which is set in the middle of the frame. Die Nibelungen was one of the most elaborate works in the silent film era. It's known for its innovative dragon and its charming and dominant set. The 50-foot dragon present in the film was a slow-moving mechanical creature that required 17 people to operate. This was one of the captivating elements which drew his audiences in. Fritz Lang was also known for his large canvases. It was a success for Lang in the early 20s to collaborate with artists in order to help bring his epic stories to life. The inspiration behind the set and canvas was a painter named Caspar David. The landscape within the film was predominant and so the characters became more submissive. Fritz Lang was one of the most influential directors in the silent film era. His main techniques focused on geometry and influences of other artists. He also took special effects and props to another level. His bold choices have impacted the evolution of film and its future directors.